All right, guys. So, just wanted to do a quick video talking about uh, some updates for Mor for Mortal Kombat One. Um, yeah, we got some new character announcements. We got some cameo character announcements, and we got a bit more for for the story, which I'll get into. So, let's talk about the characters that were announced. Like, let's talk about the characters that were announced. Um, the two characters that were announced f from this trailer. Yes, I do know that the tra that the list got leaked, and thankfully, it looks like my boy Reptile is going to be in the game. But I want to see his character design because we got some really cool character. We we may now know the list of the le the leaked list, but we don't know what they're going to look like. And if it's anything, it's going to be some cool ass designs we're going to get here. So the two characters um, that Mortal Kombat MK this MK one trailer revealed are Smoke and Rain. Some characters that I think a lot of people have been waiting to see again, like some major fa fans have been waiting to see Smoke and Rain again. Everyone went crazy for Smoke. Like, legit, everyone went crazy for Smoke. Um, it was really cool to see him again. Human, and also whip an ass. Um, I always enjoy Smoke. He may not be one of my favorite mains, but I can't deny that this is, that this is really fucking cool to see him um, out and about. And having, uh, looking like more i would say like his designs very much like mk9 i would say a little bit of um a little bit of mk3 thrown in there maybe that's just me but then we got rain and rain's design was massively different rain's design very much looks like a wizard kind of very uh, very much um uh shaman like he's using like a water uh, like scepter and it looked like I'm wondering how they're going to utilize that because it looks like he's now or they're giving rain or rain like a lot of reach with that staff. I can already tell you that people are going to main rain just to use that reach with the staff to annoy everyone online. Looking at you, every Keelik fan, every Keelik main on Soul Calibur ever. <laughs> um. So <laughs> yeah. Um, Rain's, I love Rain's new design, um, and talking about the cameo characters real quick, uh, the cameo characters we got are Sector, Cyrax, and Frost. Now, so far they're just known as cameo characters, but who knows, maybe they'll show up in either D future DLC, or maybe they'll show up in the main game. Um, Sector and Cyrax are very much like their classic designs, as is Frost. It's really cool. Like, I think this is a, these are really neat designs. I really do enjoy um, just kind of like the vintage look they're going with Sector and Cyrax, um, but really, all in all, I am I am very much impressed with this entire um, with this entire series so far. Like I uh, like I can't wait for September. We are now like three months away from a new Mortal Kombat game, and it is interesting because like there was like um, Ed Boon had released some news. Uh, he had released some news uh, the day before saying like Thursday was going to be like a big day and like basically saying like oh you know we're going to reveal uh, Lee Mei and Havoc we're going to reveal a new D um, a new DL our first DLC stuff like that and we all made the mistake of trusting him we we should know better at this point right we should um, we should uh, really stop believing everything he says because only 10 percent of it is the truth <laughs> yeah so uh lee so yeah <laughs> no havoc i know some people are really excited for havoc but we're not getting that now the story itself we get more it's more lin Kuei -ce centric as well as focusing on like a lot of what scorpion and uh, focusing a lot on scorpion and sub-zero and sub-zero says something that's a little concerning in that he's talking about the Lin Kuei for e for ages have done have basically protected the world instead of leading it. Now he's like, let's lead it. So it makes me wonder: is this like I didn't see like I can't like I did read the um, backstories, but is this like a like I'm like, are you are you sure this is not Bihan? Uh, this is uh, Kwai Lang and not Bihan because this feels like a new age version of Bihan. And we're kind of like rebooting this like i'm already telling you right now i think in the story that we're gonna see like you know sub-zero and scorpion kind of divide in this new era like sub-zero is going to be more like i want you know i want to take the lin kuei and make them into something new 
And we don't know about... The, and it does look like Scorpion is a member of the Lin Kuei, so maybe this leads to him, like, a falling out between Sub-Zero and Scorpion and leading to him creating the Shi Rai Ryu. And that will happen... It, what will happen will happen in later games. So... Um... Yeah, that's what I think is going to happen. I could be wrong, but let, uh, let's be real. The moment someone says we should be taking power or something along those lines, it, you, nothing usually ever good happens afterwards. So yeah, I thought I'd do a quick video kind of talking about like all the news. I don't know if I'll do this all the time, but I was like, I was so pumped for more, you know, MK1 news. So, and I knew a lot of fans, a, a lot of you guys were Smoke and or Rain fans out here so i thought i'd just throw this out here but yeah you guys tell me in the comments below what do you guys think of smoke and rain showing up in uh mk1 what do you think of the designs um what do you think of um what do you think of the story so far do you think this is how we're uh, like this uh, like this is how we'll rekindle the rivalry between scorpion and sub-zero in this new universe um and yeah what do you think of the cameo characters of having sector cyrax and frost in here as cameo characters just comment below, let me know. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.